it's Grace here, here at the Comfy Nest with Grace. I'm going to show you my Hobby Lobby and thrift store haul from yesterday. And, what well, was that just yesterday? Again, was that yesterday? Yes. Gosh, it feels like it was days ago. <laughs> my son's right next to ours. Yeah, I wish you did too. It was, what did we do yesterday? No. no, we were home yesterday, so it was two days ago. Good gravy. Anyway, I'm going to show you some of what I found at Hobby Lobby and the first store in Grand Forks, North Dakota, which is 90 miles away. We sent out a doctor's appointment, so of course, we're going to hit a couple of stores. We had time, usually when I have just, I, I usually have time to just hit a store, um, and usually it's Michael's. So this time I went with the Hobby Lobby, the Hobbly Lobby, as Jennifer Allwood would say. I went with that one, and I got some fun stuff. Cannot wait to show you. So, hello, hello. When you come on, let me know that you're here. I'm going to grab the comments on this little iPad next to me so I can see who's here. Brenda's here. She's a text VFF. That means she's on my texting service. You can't read that from there. I wouldn't be able to if I were you. She's on my texting service. So you can get on my texting service by texting me. Text Crafty Chicks to me at this number. Heck, you can check me. You can... You can text me anything, but if you if you text me Crafty Chicks, you're going to get specifically on that little group within my texting service. So I have a group for the Napkin Lovers Club. I have a group for my Craft Crate members. I have a group for the Craft Therapy Club members. Those are my three um, like craft membership clubs, craft, craft clubs. Um, but if you just, if you say Crafty Chicks to me and you text me there, you will become a text BFF. And I send like... Let me see if I can hang this up without knocking things over. It'll probably be crooked. Yep, it'll be crooked, but it's okay. I'll fix it later. Um, I send out some, like, behind-the-scenes stuff of me and my wonky life with my family. And I also send exclusive offers. And if you, if you have your birthday listed in there, you'll get a birthday coupon to shop in my store. Um, and I send exclusive things that are uh, offers just to those text members. And I send out live alerts. So when I go live, um, I send out an alert to let you guys know that. So if you want to become whoop, whoop, a texty, crafty, text BFF, <laughs> you guys, is it cold where you are? Listen, it dropped down to like 60 today. So I have a tank top on. I've got my hoodie on. I've got my, I told my husband, this is the little vest they gave me for Christmas that you plug it in. It has a battery, a rechargeable battery that you put in the pocket and it heats up because I was for, for, for freezing. It dropped, it was like nine. it's been in the 90s. It's been in the 90s and then it dropped down to like 60, which it, it feels like fall and my husband's like, yay, finally, some cooler weather. But I, I was cold, so I I'll probably will take this off because I will get warm here in front of the, what do you call them, those ring lights that we put on so you guys can see well. Hey, Yvonne, hello, hello, friend. So, Annalise, there's the answer to that question. <laughs> what is the temperature doing where you are? It Yesterday, it dropped down to about 80, which it was muggy because it rained a lot throughout the day, which we needed so desperately. So, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the rain. Um, and at one point, the wind picked up. It was like, it was like tornado hurricane wind. It was crazy how windy it got for like just a, like a 10 minute period in the afternoon. Um, yeah, so it got, it was like wacky weather yesterday. And then it was super windy this morning, but I think it's died down a little bit now. I went to Hobby Lobby last Wednesday. So much good stuff. Heather, my, my I was in there for like an hour and I told my son who is with me and dreaded it like he does not like going in there but I said you're in charge of keeping me on task I said I will lose track of time in here so I have him telling me every time 10 minutes has passed so he tells me 10 minutes mom it's been 20 minutes mom it's been 30 minutes mom so that I know because I have to say I'll be here for an hour I don't have I could spend six hours in there but I don't have six hours. I want to spend six hours in there. So much good stuff. I didn't even look at any of the Christmas stuff. I didn't. And they have a ton of Christmas stuff. Ton of aisles about Christmas. Janet got her text. Whoop, whoop. She's a texty BFF. Yay. Hey, Pam. Welcome back, Miss Pam Dupuy. There's Rosita Flores. Hello, hello, Kathy. Hi, everybody. Who did I miss? Diana's here. All right, you guys. We're at 44 people. If you guys keep hitting this share button, keep doing that. I'm going to add some names to the prize basket. So let me get some paper. 90 to 100 here. 
finally getting lots of rain. It's so green, right? That little bit of rain or lots of rain after it's been so dry, everything just greens up so beautifully. Hey, where did my, there they are. I'm running out of slips of paper. I'm going to have to make some new, new slips of paper to write names on. I'll do that right now. I'll do it right this minute. So what I've been doing while we're live, as you guys are adding um, people onto the live feed, for me, it says there are 43 people here. How many people does it show on your screen? In the upper, it should be like in the upper left. There should be an eyeball and it has a number and that means there are that many people watching. Well, mine says 43, but every time we hit an increment of 25, I'll add a name to the prize basket and I randomly choose the names from the comments. So make sure you say hello. Make sure you tell me you're here. I'm gonna show you all this loot that I got and then I'm gonna do a journal page. I'm feeling the need. The last couple of days have been extremely stressful, I won't lie. Um, only stressful, like nothing bad, nothing bad has happened, just very full, very like deadline, like my craft crate stuff had to get out the door. And then yesterday I dropped stuff off at UPS and then I got home and I had a text message from UPS or um, they, they messaged me on Facebook and said, you dropped off two boxes that were supposed to go to the post office like 15 minutes away so I get back in my car and run back to the UPS and pick up those boxes and then I dropped those off today with with dozens of others um, to the post office because sometimes it's faster going one way or the other um, so I do whatever's most economical and what's the fastest to get to my craft crate members so all of you 58 people Nicole says hey Nicole Jeannie sees 57 Amy sees 57 let's get some names added to the prize basket I'm going to do some crafting because, like I said, it's just been a little bit stressful, like, the last couple of days. Hey, Tracy, welcome, welcome. Tracy, I'm going to put your name in the prize basket, friend. She says she's new here. Thanks for being here. I see your comment. Tracy Stan, and her last name is Agostinelli. I hope I said it right. Agostinelli. Oh, I got to keep it here. So I, oh, it's S-T-I. I got to spell it right. I hope to, anyway. That's the goal. Agostinelli. Your name is going in the prize basket. And so what I do, I'm going to put your name in the prize basket. And then if you, so I'll, I announce the names that go in the prize basket because I'll choose a replay watcher as well. I've been doing that lately. So if you're catching the replay, comment replay so that I know that. And in the next couple of days, I'll go in and choose another person to put in the prize basket. And what's today? I write the date just so... What I try to do, um, well, I'll, I'll post this in the Crafty Chicks Club, which is my free craft community. So, Tracy, make sure you join that. Um, I'll post your name in there. And then when I, when I choose winners, I post the winners in there. And I'll tag you so that you know that you need to send me your mailing address so I can send you some happy mail. It's so exciting. I sell craft supplies on my website. I have napkin bundles because I love to craft with napkins. I'm going to do a project today with a napkin. Um, so you may get a pack of napkins, you may get general craft supplies, you, you just don't know what you're going to get. It's going to be some happy mail. All right, let me go back to the beginning, and I'm just going to randomly scroll and pull a couple of names. I see 63 people. The next name that I see is Annalise Herwig, and it was the comment when you were asking, is it cold where you are? <laughs> so Annalise, such a beautiful name. I think you've gone in the prize basket before. And listen, I have not taken names out of that pri prize basket since before February. So they've been in there for a long time. So if you've been added at some point, your name, you still have a chance to win. So Annalise, your name's going in. Um, you still have a chance to win. And the only way you're going to know is if you're in that Crafty Chicks Club. So jump on in there so I can tag you when you get chosen. Or some, some crafty mail. Let's see what I got. Up to 63. Annalise wants napkins if you win. Otherwise, join the Napkin Lovers Club. Uh, listen, so the Napkin Lovers Club is a quarterly club. Let me just say really quickly, I'm sending out a, bo a box with craft supplies that you can use with your napkins. Plus, you get a bundle of napkins every quarter. So I sent up my first, I launched it in June. I sent the first box out in July. Those are the founding members. There were 84, I believe, founding members. Now, if you join now, 
what you'll get right away is access to that private club, the private group here on Facebook where I do more napkin projects in there. And then um, I'm using the supplies that I sent to everybody in July. So if you sign up now, you can get private access to that stuff now. And then your first box will be shipped to you in October because that's the next box. That's the next time the box will be sent out. And that box will be for October, November, December. And then your next billing period will be January 1st. So you pay now for the October box and for immediate access into that group. And then you get your next box in J January and that's the next billing period for $39. So it's an awesome deal. You get lots of stuff in that box. Plus you're getting all the extra private workshops in the group plus all the fellowship, a really good group of gals in there now. Um, so go ahead and join now. You can, if you join now, you get immediate access to that group. And then your first box in October. So that, that's how that works. Okay, I picked this up. Have you guys seen these? This was at Hobby Lobby. The Hobby Lobby, and it's rather large. I bought about five or six of these a couple of years ago when I was, I was um, creating projects and then selling them in a local booth here in Devil's Lake. And I made, um, the snowflake and I put a phrase in the middle of it and it like sold like hotcakes. <laughs> they sold, they sold on the website and my, my own one in, in the booth, like someone ate it up right away and then everybody wanted one. And I went back to Hobby Lobby and I could not get any more. By then they were all sold out. I did not buy five of them this time. I bought one. So I bought the one. I will do a project here on the page at some point with this. So I got that one. It's really big, you guys. Let's see. Like, end to end, it's probably 23 inches in diameter. With It's so cool. I love it. I think it's so cool. I don't know. Maybe this one I'll end up keeping. Maybe it'll go in a live sale. I'm going to put this aside because I only have so much room. I have been in my mind, and I know I've mentioned it a couple of times to you guys. Um, Michelle, the group is the Napkin Lovers Club. So you go to my website, thecompanyestwithgrace.com. You sign up for the Napkin Lovers Club. You'll see the tab right on the website. Sign up for that, and then you'll get immediate access. I'll email you the link so you can get in that group, Napkin Lovers Club, right away. And then you'll get your first box of napkins in October, and your next billing will be January. 39 bucks. Shipping is included. It's just a $39 fee. It's easy. Easy breezy. Hey, Sharita. Hello, hello, Sharita. I love, oh my gosh, I'm loving seeing everybody's... Um, Sailboats. We did the Let's Let Your Dreams um, Take Sail last night in the Craft Therapy Club for Girls Night In. And I've been really enjoying seeing everybody's projects inside that group. Um, Kana's looking for I Love You S'more. Uh, Kana, can you message me? Can you message me about that? Because I would love to help you if I can. I, I, I love to be helpful to you guys anytime. Just private message me because I may not see or remember that question um, later. Okay, so let's see what else we got at the Hobbly Lobbly. I don't know why I bought just one. <laughs> Does anybody do this? I saw this in the section with all the, the, and it's super soft, like the leaves are like, like almost like felt, but I loved the colors. And what I, the reason I think I bought just one is because I do a lot of little projects. And so I don't need a ton of um, greenery on the project. So like I'll tear this apart and cut it apart and use it on something, but I just thought it was so pretty. It was $2.99 and I think it was 40% off, so it was cheap. I probably should have bought a few more, but here's why I didn't. Truthful, this is exactly what I said to myself when I was standing in the aisle and my son said, it's been 30 minutes, Mom. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm going to grab something fall-like. I'm shaking this around. This is my Italian hands going crazy. I'm going to grab something fall-like. And just remember, Grace, you still have a bunch of stuff left over from last year for fall foliage that you never used, so... I was trying to be frugal. Conservative, conservative Gannon, my son just said. Conservative, yes, I was trying to be conservative, my love. You're right. Hey, text BFF, Christy Stowe in the house. She's a Napkin Love, no, Lovers Club member. You're welcome, Kathy. I will be helpful anytime I can. If I can, I will be. Yes, Kena, just message me. Um, my mind runs 100 miles an hour, but getting it all done is another story, right, Kim? Kim. Yeah, that's what's happening to me lately. Okay, so that, I got that. I'm going to make two separate piles. I got that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't even know what these all 
say, oh, I did, there was one of them, I wasn't even, this one, I wasn't even sure what these all said, we'll open them together, but I grabbed these, because you can never use, like, these are great to glue on to so many projects, and they are $3.99, they're Woodward's that are 6 by 2.75 inches, and you get six of them, grateful, thankful, blessed, you get two of each, um, six is plenty for me. And they were cheap, right? So I got those. These were all, I think, 40% off. This is the one. I have no idea. There are eight laser-cut wood words that are 4.6 inches, but I don't know what the words are. So let's open this up. What's up, kid? I'm going to go watch the game. It's like halfway down, but... Oh, how do you know that? Because I saw Dad and Aaron in the boat waiting. Yeah. Did you just run down there? No, when I drove home. And then Dad called me when I was pulling up and said, hey, we're just sitting. Oh, he told me that after the weigh-in, we're all going to go to the fish fry. So, just text me and let me know if you're going at straight there after the weigh-in, like at 4 o'clock. He said it'll be sometime after 4. Okay, four. I got to go um, scout a little bit tonight because me and Hudson are going to do something. Excuse somewhere. me for the interruption. This is family hour. You're getting the family conversation. You need to, if you're going to monopolize their time, come on over and show that face. Monopolize? You're monopolizing their time. I'm chit-chatting with them. We are talking Hobby Lobby wood cutouts. And you are interrupting the conversation. This is my son, Landon, my 16-year-old. Look at how big he's getting. He's gotten. He's bigger Why than me. Why is it me. reversed? Uh, yeah, it's that. reversed for us so that the words, so that when they look at the words, they can read them. Yeah. All right, so just please text. Are you going there, and then you're going to go there. scouting now? No, I'm going there, eating there. And I'll see you when we eat then. Yeah. Okay. All right. Gannon did not want to come with me, so oh. he's staying there. Okay. Family, you've got the Kurtz family. <laughs> that looks like you got the Kurtz family uh, plans right there. My husband did a fishing tournament today. He hasn't done one in years, but he was invited to participate in a fishing tournament, so that's where he is. And the weigh-in is now, and he wants to go watch the weigh-in. And they did catch some fish, so yay! Um, all right, let's see. Uh, I appreciate your help, Kathy said. Oh, I'm so happy to help. I want to catch up with these comments. <laughs> Pam said hello. He already left. Pam, I'm sorry. The Lord give me coffee. Kena, that was from a thrift store. I think it was like two or three dollars. It's from Hobby Lobby. Wait, let's look. It's originally a Hobby Lobby deal. I think I took the sticker off. Anyway, I think I paid. Look at $2.99, man. Isn't it cute? And listen, I go from coffee to water to wine. So that one's perfect for me. It's gonna it's gonna hang crooked. So all you, like, I know all the folks who are perfectionists, I will fix them later if they're hanging crooked. All right, let's see what comes in this pack. Wood pile fun, eight laser, laser cut wood words. They were $3.99, 40% off. I have no idea what's in here, so let's look quick. I don't know if they're repeats or what. We get loved. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it like that. We'll do this. Loved. I'll use this as my, oh, cute. And this one's little. This one says, Hello. They're kind of thick, actually. They're a little bit thick for being little words. We've got, oh, pretty with the heart uh, as the, the top of the eye. See the top of the eye is a, is a little heart. Family. I, my, um, the My Craft Crate boxes, I love writing on the outside or inside of the box. And I write their name. I say hi, and then I write their name, like, hi, Arlene. And then I put Happy Mail on there, and I put hearts. And I love doing that, like, scribbly doodles. On your boxes you guys when you when you buy stuff for me or you're in one of the clubs gather oh there are no repeats girls this is eight individually different words blessed this I should have gotten two of these what was I thinking what was I thinking and I kept saying to my husband this one's long it says welcome um oh yay cafe cafe we were talking coffee bars the other night during the live. There's one that says coffee. And then this one says hope. I'm not even going to take it out of the bag. It says hope. There's a lot of them. Eight of them. They're cute and little. Hey, I bet they'll be sold out if I get back out of town again. Because I don't get out of town very often. But those were totally... Maybe I'll just go online and buy them. I have some... Actually, I have some stuff in my... Um, in my cart for Hobby Lobby for one of the craft clubs. Hint, hint. Um doing some shopping for one of the craft clubs, I might pick up another one of these. It says eight laser cut wood words and they're 
So there we go. That was that was a good buy. I got that. I got this big thing. I don't know why. I just thought this would be really cute on something. It just says Hello Fall, and it's got a really pretty font to it. Rather large. You can hang it by itself, but I think this would be great glued onto the front of like a wood circle or something with different paint colors or papers to decorate. I got a lot of wood words, you guys. This one, create. Yay, create, create. We're going to use that. It was a buck 49. 40, I think it was 40% off. Yeah, I got create. I should have got more of those. I think I was in such a rush. This is in the fall section, mini happy fall. There are four of them and they were $2.99, but they're orange. You get four of them. Ooh, ooh, I'm super excited. Look what I got. Okay, I have water bottles all over the place, but they're like, one of them is a 409 bottle that I repurposed. The other one, I think it was a Walmart bottle and it's great. I use it constantly here in the, in the craft room, but I don't, I had a mister, but it broke and then I lost a mister and um, the Tim Holtz stuff was on sale. So I got this little Tim Holtz mister. I don't, I, I, I don't remember how much it was. It was definitely on sale because I'm kind of cheap and frugal. <laughs> but I got me a little mister for my, my paper crafts. I'm so excited about that. And then I got, I have heard, the rumor has it that his um, scissors are incredible, like dangerously sharp. I have, I pro tell me how many scissors. Guess how many scissors you have in your craft room and tell me please guess i might count mine later just for something fun i don't know how many i have i have oodles of scissors but it's like one of those things it's like nail polish when you i don't paint my nails anymore but when i did every time i go to the store i'd be like oh that's a pretty color and that's a pretty color and i'd buy like two or three more of them right now it's eyeliner for me um but scissors i got the tim holtz they came in two sizes a small and a large I think I, I think I got the small one. There was the one that was a little, uh, yeah, smaller. And then there was one that was a little bigger. This is seven inches. I love that the handles, even though it's a small scissor, I love that the handles are really big. Um, but I got those. If anybody has these, let me know. I've heard that for paper crafters, they are incredible. Um... Kathy, oh, my sister Kathy's on. Oh, you guys say, let me ask just quick. Say a little prayer for Kathy. She, she, she's not feeling so hot. <laughs> so I'll just say that. You guys say a little prayer for her because she's not feeling. We talked on the phone today and I'm like, it sounds like you're eating something. She's just like all gravelly and blah, poor thing. Um, Kat, so she has 20 to 25 pairs. Christy has one pair. Good for you, girl. Kim has six. Billy's guessing. Billy Rosenell. She's guessing she has 25 pairs. So you guys, I'm going to count later. I'll do a little funny video for you and count how many I have. Um, hey, Kat. Diana says, I need to stay out of that store, but now I need to see, I, I, I see that I need to go. I know they really have some cute stuff and it's inexpensive. That's the, that's the scary part. It's inexpensive. So when you can get it, especially 40, 50% off. <laughs> Shavita's drinking iced coffee right now. I have a Coke Zero. I got some when we went on a little weekend trip. I, I did not drink soda for years and years. I just stopped drinking it. And um, I, I used to love Coke Zero. I love it so much more than Diet Coke. And I bought some and now I'm like back loving it again. It's a bad habit. <laughs> um, Kana said, I went to Hobby Lobby today and my son almost killed me because I was taking so long. That's exactly exactly what happens with me. I need to go one day when I'm just by myself. Christina has nine pairs of scissors in my craft room, not counting my good sewing ones. See, and they are, sometimes you want to keep them separate for sure. On my sewing room, I have about 30 pairs of, uh, this is such a good question. I may post this question in the Crafty Chicks Club. I got to write a note for myself. You guys, we're at 77 viewers. I'm going to grab another name for the prize basket. Questions. How many scissors? And I'll do a little video because I think that's a great crafty question to ask and there's no right or wrong answer seriously from 1 to 30 it doesn't matter how many you have thank you guys for the prayers for my sissy Candace said I finally got my stamps and my ink for my napkin project woohoo awesome Kana Janet has a few pair it there they take up a lot of room so you're smart <laughs> The Tim Holtz scissors are the best, and the small ones, like nothing sticks to them, Cheryl says. Ooh, love that. I have my Chocotour scissors. 
they're called transfer trimmers and you know the transfers the stencils from Chalk Couture are sticky they're adhesive on the back and that's what these are supposed to be um, I've had them for a long time and they cut them very well but see how long they're big they're big so scissors can take up a lot of room I've been hearing how good the Tim Holtz ones were so when they were on sale I'm like yeah dang it I'm gonna get a pair a set do you say a set or a pair um hey Pauline she says hi sweetheart how are you well, how are you my love hello hello Kathy don't go she says she wants to go to Hobby Lobby now I'm not trying to influence you guys I'm, I'm gonna talk you down from the Hobby Lobby the need you can shop Hobby Lobby online in fact most of the time that's what I end up doing because it's 90 miles away from me let me get this stuff in a bag and then I'll show you what others I'm not putting my sister in a bag I'm putting all the word cutouts and my little this in there, but these two things, my two, my new tools, those are not going in the bag. I'll put those in the bag so I can set them aside. Bag number two. Oh, I have been wanting, um, yeah, Kathy, it does. Kathy Leavitt says, or Lee Holt, she says, it's inexpensive, but it all adds up. It sure does. That's why you have to be careful. 74 viewers. Oh, yes. Let me grab another name from the comments for the prize basket, because I saw that we had that many viewers. It's Janet. Clifford and she says hi Gracie it's 73 here Janet Clifford your name is going in the prize basket you're the next comment that I saw it's 82121 is that for real did I already wrote it three times but I have to look again Janet your name's going in the prize basket I will post all of these names to remind you guys and I'll tag you in the crafty chicks club and that's a good test for if you win that I can tag you Nancy has 16 pairs of scissors thank you Pauline for prayers Billy just counted. She has 20 in her craft room plus three out and about in the house. I have like one in every room of the house. It's really crazy, actually. Okay. I've been wanting these so badly, and they're kind of hard to find. There aren't many of them. In fact, I would have bought 10 of them if they had them, but they only have one. I'll have to go online and see. The burlap canvases. So these are the chunky canvases, but they're burlap. I have a burlap canvas um, panel, but it was the thin one, like the, the standard thin canvas panel, but it but it was a burlap one that I chalked on and it's hanging in my bathroom and I love it. And it says, bless this home. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's teal and white. I use teal and white um, pastes on that one. So I've been wanting more of these. So I bought a couple of them at eight by eight size and I really wanted, I like the little projects. I really wanted more of the six by six. So another thing that I might have to add to my cart when I'm shopping, um, my online shopping. So eight by, I'm going to actually write that down, six by six canvas panels because the store that I was in only had one. I also picked up another journal. Whoop, whoop. These were on sale, mixed media pads. They were 50% off. Um, so I picked up a new mixed media pad. I normally buy the blue covered one, the blue brand, but I got this one because they were on sale. They're perforated so you can create on them. And this is what we do in the craft therapy club a lot. They're perforated pages, so you can create on them and leave them in your book, kind of like a scrapbook of all your projects. But if you want to hang one, you can tear it out and frame it and hang it wherever you want or give it as a gift. So got myself another one of those. Got a little pair of shoes in the t-shirt section. It's going to be a project coming up with that. Coming up with that. All right, so that fits in that bag this bag has in it oh a lot of these I got these I just thought they were pretty um, because they're kind of distressed and farmhousey looking they're bulb ornaments you get four of them and they were $3.99 I was in so we had passed so I said I didn't go in the Christmas section I really we we breezed by it because my son was like please mom don't look at Christmas but on one of the end caps they had ornaments hanging and I was like, ooh, these, I love little projects. So I got those and I got these. Look at how pretty, look at that shape. They're like paper mache. I got a regular circle one and I got these so that I can craft and create them. And I got three of each of those. That's what's in this bag. And then I got some colored beads that are just so pretty. Gold and coral and like a very, it's like a coral. It's a very light coral color. And then there are some mauve and more orangey ones. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing with these, but I was like, ooh, they're already painted. I'm all about the already painted. So, oh, and then I got this. I think it was 90% off or 75% off. I can't remember which aisle. Look at this. You guys, uh, look at, 
Look at how big it is. <laughs> Look at how big it is. It's gonna hang on my front, like at my front door, my house. It's for my my the. <laughs> it's really big. <laughs> the front door of my house. Well, my house is like log cabin siding. It's not a log cabin house, but it has log cabin siding, so it's brown with white trim this says welcome may those who live here and those who visit know only blessings and peace i love the phrase i love 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 the phrase the back is completely chewed up like look the paper's all coming off but i don't care it's gonna go outside it was originally 40 but it was in the clearance 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 section because it's all chewed up it's gonna go outside listen I buy the cheapest stuff I can to hang out and I'm gonna top coat it with a outdoor um, top coat because I want it to last as long as possible but I just the stuff that goes outside I find a lot of stuff at thrift stores or clearance clearance that I'm gonna put outside because if it happens to get blown over by the wind and cracked or nicked or chipped or over the years weathered then i don't have to like feel like oh i spent so much money on that so i got this which my husband's gonna like be like what really okay i'll show you my thrift store haul and then we're gonna do a journal page um oh cheryl says there are actually three sizes of tim holt scissors i wonder uh, cheryl so that's really i'm gonna put it on my list to look it up on the hobby lobby page because I got the seven inch and I thought they were the smaller of the two that they had hanging there. So I wonder, is this the smallest or is there another smaller one? Because I love my little scissors. With paper crafting, you really do kind of need little scissors that you can get in all those little tight crevices when you're fussy cutting papers and embellishments. And I have two pairs, <laughs> two pairs of little scissors. These ones I got at Walmart, they're that West Copper, and they were super cheap, like $4 or something. And these, I, these used to have a cover. I don't know. These are EK scissors. I got them a long, long, long time ago. This one I got more recently. But this, this one, the one that I got at Walmart, let me just quick review for you because I love testing things. I love to tell you and report what I find. This one, it is hard to open and close. Like it needs to be WD-40 or something. It's really hard to open and close it. I don't have that trouble with the EK. Don't see how easy that one is? This one, I have to like uh, use my muscles, and <laughs> I don't have many, <laughs> to open this one. So I don't love the Westcott ones from Walmart. They were only four bucks, so what, do you, what can you expect? These ones are just super old, and I heard that the Tim Holtz were really good, but this was the smaller one, seven inches. So do you know how big is the smallest? Um, if, if you, Cheryl, if you know that there are three, I wonder if that's the medium or is this the smallest size? I got some clearance wood blocks for 119 for my napkins. Whoa, Kana, you did good girlfriend. 119, I love me some napkin projects. You guys know that. So she's got some new surfaces. Yeah, I sent out with the first Napkin Lovers Club box, they got, you guys got two surfaces, right? You got two surfaces, I think. And my plan is to try to do that with each box is to send you, you're going to get other craft supplies that you can use with your projects. And then between, you know, in between boxes being sent out, I'll be using those supplies in the workshops that we do inside that group. Teresa says, I was just at Hobby Lobby and got a bunch of stuff for 90% off. Yay. Hey, Marsha in Virginia. Jeanette says, first time here. Welcome, Miss Jeanette. We all welcome you here to the Comfy Nest. You can become a crafty chicken hang out with us here we'd love to have you uh, michelle says oh michelle she's asking where the tim holtz scissors are sold i got these at hobby lobby yesterday or the day before oh happy anniversary teresa said it's her 41st wedding anniversary happy blessed day to you guys happy celebrating that's awesome Yes, Michelle said happy anniversary. Diane says, first timer, you are my kind of shopper. Oh, Diane, <laughs> I am so frugal. All right, let's go over the thrift store haul now that we're talking about that. So I only could get to one thrift store and I went to the Goodwill because it was literally on the way to and then back out from where the doctor's office was for my son. So we, I said to him, we have to swing in and I had him do the same thing. I need a 10 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute warning and then we gotta get out of here. I grabbed these. They were 99 cents, friends. 
and they are brand new. There's 40 of them and they were from Michael's. I have no idea how much they were at Michael's. I, you know, I have no idea, but I'm like, man, it goes to the Goodwill and they're brand new. So I'll take those. Um, Diana has never seen a burlap canvas before. I love them and they, they're rare. Like, you know, they don't, they don't sell a ton of them. Hey, Amy, text BFF. She's here to see the craft stash haul. I showed some of the stuff earlier. So Amy, if you're just coming in, make sure that you catch the replay, okay? Make sure that you catch it. I love chit chatting about craft supplies. <laughs> Kathy, hello and welcome. And Nick Kim says, nice haul. Hi, Sharon. Sharon is one of the designers on my chalk team. Hello, hello, Sharon. She's a new designer. Welcome, welcome. Penny said, you're killing me. Hobby Lobby is closed on Sunday. And that's so funny that you say that because when we went, my son said, Mom, I said, I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. And he said, Mom, it's Sunday. You can't go. <laughs> he knows they're closed. I said, don't try to trick me. I know what day it is. It's Saturday. We get to go. <laughs> that's so funny. Janet, those beads are super pretty. I agree. Yvonne, did you see 89 people on this live? Oh, my gosh. I'm so humbled and loving that. Loving that. I did not see that. I haven't seen that number 89, so thank you for reporting that. If we hit that 100, if we hit that 100, I'll add some more names to that basket. I'll like say, if we hit 100, you guys keep hitting that share button. If we hit 100 live, I will add three more names to the basket from the comments. And if you are watching the replay, make sure you say replay because I, I add from the replay watchers too now. Diana went to look for the water pencils that I use. I got my water pencils from Amazon. FYI, they're in my Amazon store. And Angelica, Crafty Chick Angelica, just bought them and she texted me through my texting service, which is a two-way service. She texted me and said, look at the supplies I picked up from your suggestions. And one of them was the Inktense pencils and I love them. I know, Pauline, that sign is massive. It's so big. It was like 10 bucks or something. I got a really good deal. It was my lucky day, Nancy. You're right. 92? I'm not seeing that number, Teresa. I'm so excited. Thank you for telling me that, Yvonne. <laughs> Sprinkle the blessings. Thank you, Miss Minnie. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying to see everybody's comments. Oh, I don't have a pair. Sharita says she uses her Cricut scissors for fussy cutting. I don't have a pair. Billy, I thought of that just when I was, she said, can you loosen the screw on those scissors? I thought of that as I was waving it in front of you guys. I might try to do that. Okay. Cheryl just checked her Tim Holtz scissors. Cheryl, you're like a wealth of knowledge and we all love and appreciate you for this. She just checked her Tim Holtz scissors and the one that I have, the seven inch, is the medium size. So there is a size smaller and a size larger. They weren't that expensive. They were $12 originally and I did get them on sale. All right, let's see, let's see. <gasps> Kathy said... We're going to have a little competition. Kathy said, I'm embarrassed. I have 50 pairs of scissors. She probably just counted them all. Oh my gosh, that's a riot. Cheryl says, the sizes of Tim Holtz are 5, 7, and 10, so I have the medium. You, you are so full of information. That's helpful. Hi, Madeline. And this includes her pinking shares. All right, all right, let's see. So here, what else did I get? I got this little thing, Move Mountains. Now, I don't care about the sign necessarily it's very inexpensive it could have been it's made in china iq accessories it says on the bottom that is like stamped on there it's yellow i don't mind the color i think it's really a fun bright color um and it has a little hanger on it got it from the thrift store how much was it, it was 2.99 at the goodwill the reason i bought it was because it's got these boards, I'll hold it up really close so you can see. These are all little individual boards that are tacked in with a nail and they're different sizes. So big, little, big, little, big, little. I loved that because they have, it's kind of see-through and I have a plan for it. I have a plan for it. So you can see they're all tacked in. So it's going to get new life. I'm going to do something with it. So that was $2.99 I got that. This, again, don't love it, but I don't love it, but it was $2.99. I don't love, like the design is just okay, but for $2.99, it's MDF, but it's solid. It's pretty solid and heavy. That's gonna get new life. That will get refabbed. I got this. This is all from the thrift store. The reason I picked this up, this is from Hearthside Collection. Like sometimes on the back, it'll say if it's, this isn't Hobby Lobby or anything, but look at the house rules. 
I love the frame on this. The frame, frame, frame. I love, love, love. It's got this wacky, <laughs> right here, staple. It doesn't have a staple on every edge. I think someone just did that because maybe it was falling apart and it's rusty and I love it because it's super like distressed and aged and icky. Um, like it's not icky dirty. It has a hole so you can hang it. And it has these tabs so I can take this panel out and paint it and do something with it. The house rules, always be honest, count your blessings, bear each other's burdens, forgive and forget, be kind and tender hearted. They're all great little rules. So I was looking at it and I said, and said, oh, what do you really like the rules? It was $3.99. I said, no, I don't care about the rules. I'm gonna paint over it. <laughs> so I grabbed that for $3.99. Then this was like, my, my son, if you are musically inclined, you, you will giggle at me too. There were a bunch of these books, a bunch of them, and I have plans for um, putting together, because I love paper crafting, so if you're a paper crafter, show me some hearts. I have some plans for putting in my shop, from my collection of books, bundles of ephemera and, and book pages and different things um, that you can purchase, because... If you're like me, I live in a town, it's kind of hard to find unique books. And I came through, um, I went through a fundraiser a little while ago um, that a local organization had. And they had a ton of really exciting different books with different fonts, different sizes, different illustrations. And so I, I bought these with the intent to use them in my, um, in that quest to put this together for you guys in the shop. Plus to use my own paper crafting. The music, the music sheets, I'm not music. I have no idea anything about music. Look at how tight and close together they are. I'm, I said to my son who plays piano and saxophone and he was in choir. I said, what is up with these music sheets? Why is there so much on one page? Like who could ever read this? Let me find one. Like some of them are like over the top. I'm like, what is going on here? I said, who can play the piano that fast? And he laughed at me and he said, Mom, that is not piano sheet music. That is choral sheet music. So I think it's for singers. And then he said, look, Mom, it says plano, arpa, um, chord. And then like down the side, it tells you who sings what. So I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know anything about music, you guys. This one, so there are a bunch of these, but I loved how full they were, and they're small little pages, so I think for paper crafting, these are glorious. So I got two of these books. There were a lot of them. I just got two because I have too many books. I have so many books. I have, I have old books everywhere in my craft room, in my basement, in two places in my basement. I have them in my office. I have them in my bedroom. I have books everywhere. And so I'm going to be sharing by creating a stash for you guys. Okay, here's one of my journals. It's one of my journals, one of my little art journals. Um, napkin from one of my napkin bundles. Napkin. Um, some of these bundles have sold out. That one is sold out. But um, so these are all pages with napkins that I've created. This is just tangling me, but this was from that napkin bundle. Um, so this book, I have a lot of napkin work in here. This is from the T for Two bundle. Uh, these don't have napkins on them. That doesn't have a napkin. That's just a journal page. Let's see, this is a napkin. I'm gonna do, this page is has quickly become like I did this one the other day when we did that paper crafting and I was showing you how to create texture on paper with those tags. And you guys, I love this page so much. I don't even, look at the sheen on it. I don't even wanna touch it. I don't even wanna do anything with it. My intention was I'd put some kind of phrase or something on here, a Bible verse or something. It is so incredibly pretty and I love the texture that I created with that stencil and that texture paste, and I love the wax and all it did on this page. I can't even, like, I, I can't even touch it. I don't want to do anything with it, but I wanted to create something, so I grabbed a napkin, and I had, um, let me see if I can get this straightened out for you guys. I had a bundle of napkins that was, um, like, these snarky ladies. It's gone now. It's not, a, it's sold out on the website, but, um, 
there are these snarky ladies and it says i won't they're like vintage girls dressed so beautifully i won't eat food that contains sugar sodium meat dairy gluten preservatives or artificial colors or flavors but i'll drink anything and that was me for <laughs> I went on a really strict diet for a couple of years and I wasn't eating anything but meat and vegetables, basically. Um, and then when I started, when I came back out of that and I started introducing things back into my diet, I had wine for the first time and I broke out in hives like you would not believe. We're going to put her on the bottom here. And then we're gonna do something on this side, maybe a martini glass or something. And what I'm debating is I love when the words show through. Can you guys see this well enough? Let me see if I can zoom you in a little. I love when the words show through on the project um, through the napkin. So I think I'm just gonna put her on here on the bottom. I haven't decided. I don't know if I should gesso it or not. So you guys, who has an art journal? Who crafts in a, in a journal? It doesn't, this is a Reader's Digest book. <laughs> this is a Reader's Digest book, but you can get like a regular journal from the store like that other one I just showed you. I don't know if I should gesso it or if I should just go right in. I'm trying to decide. I have clear gesso, so if I wanted to prep my page and prime it for what's coming next, I could use clear, but I'm kind of thinking maybe a little white gesso um, and just water it down. So let me grab some gesso. Let me grab my dirty. <laughs> it's dirty on many sides. My craft mat has been used and used. Actually, we'll just use this side since it's already dirty. All right. So I'm going to grab some gesso and a paintbrush, and we are going to just do a wash. So, like, I want to... I want to just... I want the words to be there, but I don't want them to show... Um, I grabbed this water bottle to spray. Uh, I don't think so, Gracie. I haven't even taken the tags off it yet. Here's the one I usually use. I'm going to add a little water to this craft mat, grab a little gesso to water it down a little, and do like a gesso wash. <laughs> so I want it to be there, the words, but muted. I'm going to put that aside. And so we're just going to put a light wash. So it's going to brighten the page up, which will make the napkin show up brighter. It's also going to prep this page, which is a really old book page. It's going to prep it so that it can accept whatever art medium I come in with after that, whether it be watercolor pens or pencils or paint or whatever. Okay, so it's very subtle. I still want those words to show through, but you can see how it's brightened the page up a bit so it's not so yellow, and that's kind of what I wanted. I think I'm going to try to paint. I've never painted a martini glass. But I think I'm going to try to do it on this side. So I don't want to get, on this side I don't care, because this is all just blank pages waiting to be designed and, and done something with. But this side I have all these gorgeous pages. So when I don't want them to get mucked up and dirty, I usually grab one of my craft mats and stick it in between the pages, because I don't want to get white gesso on the pages that are underneath you can use you can use a paper towel or something it's just that the mats are waterproof kind of some of them are anyway so we're just prepping this page with some white gesso we're going to do a quick little art page here i was feeling the need to be artistic and you guys chatting with me and doing the crafty chick um craft time thank you for that or chat time because i needed some i needed some girl time some chitty chat I can't get the cover on grab my little dryer here all right so who has an art journal your positive energy is your influence love it oh Nancy I try so hard I mean I really do that is generally my my attitude <laughs> so thank you for noticing thank you for appreciating that about me hello from North Alabama Miss Celinda pretty name Thank you for sprinkling, Cheryl. Hey, Mary Grace Caglioni from Massachusetts. Hey, Bonnie. Hello, hello. Where are you coming in from, Miss Bonnie? Welcome to the Comfy Nest. Hi from Allen, Texas, Miss Jean. Thank you for sharing, Billy. Hey, Mayor. She's saying hello to everybody. Hi in Southern Illinois, Miss Bonnie. Hey, you guys. See, that sharing brings new crafty chicks over. And it's so helpful to introduce the Comfy Nest to more people. So thank you. 
Kim says, now that I've started back to work, I need to start ordering online because it's a 45 minute drive to Hobby Lobby. It's 90 minutes for me. So I totally understand that, Kim. Hey, Roseanne Hayes. Hello, hello. And Kathy Sprinkle, thank you. Thanks, Kim. Hi, Candy. Kathy loves her cricket fingers. All right, this one's pretty, pretty in good shape, but this one's still a little moist. I hate that word, moist. Thank you for sprinkling, Roseanne. So you are the crafter who did the color pencils with water. I'll have to replay. Mare, they're my favorite craft supply to play with are my Intense pencils. Debbie loves my sweatshirt. Where did I get it? I got it last year at Lane Bryant, Debbie. So I don't know if they still have it in stock, but I love it too. It's really cozy. Pauline says that's a lot of scissors. I guess that you're reacting to my sister's admission that she has 50. Kathy has, this Kathy Williams says she has 12. Oh, Roseanne, I'm glad you like it. 85 people. Awesome. Hi, you're back. Hi. Thanks for the stars, Miss Roseanne. Stars. What's up, honey? Um, new plan. New plan. We're Hudson. getting the new plan, guys. Hudson's picking me up in like 20 minutes. To, to go scouting? Yep. You're not going to eat? Nope. You just came from a day of football? Correct. What are you going to eat? We're going on calorie deficit. I thought the coach said you're on eat everything in sight plan. Grab something to eat, like a protein yeah, bar or something. Just... Okay. I know I'm playing with you, but you do need to eat, child. All right. I want to know, I want to hear from you so I know when you're coming home. Oh boy, he said a change of plans. All right, here's my snarky girl, my feisty little snarky girl. She's going to show up so much better because we put a little bit of gesso to brighten those pages. I'm going to put her right on the bottom. And I'm not even going to, I usually like to tear my napkins because I don't like the straight edge, but I'm going to line the straight edge up with my page so that it's just super easy. Like then I don't have to worry about it matching. Here it's torn, but that's in the binding, so it won't be seen as much, if you know what I mean. Okay, new paintbrush going into the Mod Podge. And um, I, you guys, if you're if you're new to my page, I'll just say, I, I create with napkins all the time. I have a napkin subscription club called the Napkin Lovers Club. It's a quarterly subscription box in a private group here on Facebook because I love to work with napkins and you guys all requested it. I mean, I had some other subscription groups and you guys were like, hey, we want a napkin group. So I just launched that in July because I work with napkins all the time. Um, and my style is very relaxed. I have used the iron-on method. In fact, in the first workshop that I did inside the club, I made sure to show how to use both the iron and to do it without the iron. I prefer without the iron because I kind of like the wrinkles, you guys. I kind of like them. I don't need that big of a wrinkle, so I'm going to pick this up and lay it back down. I'm just going to pounce her into the page. So I'm pouncing her into that glue that I put down. Okay, and so here's my next issue here is that I have a straight line. I missed a spot, that's the first one. I missed, I don't have enough Mod Podge right there. Leave it to me to miss an edge, ladies. Okay, now that I have that down, so the next um, challenge will be the fact that I, I don't like this line. I don't like this straight line right here above her head. I don't love that. So what I normally do is I grab some paints and I um, work with some paints to create a unified background, okay? So it's a good thing that we prepped with that um, gesso. I'm gonna grab a couple of different, so what I'm gonna try to do is to try to match up this color that's on the napkin, which is like a yellowish green. Um, Kind of like this color, which is called sawgrass, um, but it's a little more tan than that. So I'm going to grab a couple of colors and try to come up with a custom paint color that kind of matches that background. Um, so I've got my plaster, which is like a white, uh, an off-white, a soft white, and I'm going to grab. I'm going to. I'm looking for a very specific kind of brush. Here we go. This one because I want to pounce the paint on. So let me grab a bunch of this. It's too much. I'm just going to put it there for a minute. And then this. And I'm going to mix these together and try to come up with that same color. 
This one's a little bit too dark on its own. I might have to add a little bit of brown. So see what I did? I just created what I think kind of matches this color on the back of the napkin because I want to try. It's still a little bit too light. I might need a little, well, no, it's okay. That's not bad for the first try. I'm trying to match this. And I'm gonna pounce some paint up and around that line so I don't have that straight line going. And I probably will also take it and just kind of go around even on her, on the image, because I want it to look really natural, like that was all meant to be there. So see where the binding is? I'm gonna go right into that binding so it all looks unified. And I have my words here and I don't wanna lose my words, so, but I'm gonna go around them. I'm gonna add just a little bit. You see how little bit of paint is on my brush because I wanna try to like lose that straight line right there. That's my goal. I need more paint though. <laughs> I didn't make enough of it. And I'm using this brush cause it's like super fluffy or um, broad. The, paint, the bristles are like all open. So I'm using that so that I can just stipple this paint on. I still want to see the words in the background. I don't want to totally lose them. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just trying to lose that line. And it's still kind of a little bit too much for me. I'm going to grab a smaller brush that has that round shape. So that I can get in around her and bring this color down into the napkin background so I can make it match more. Do you see what I mean? Just trying to make it all look like one project for reals. See what I'm doing here? I mean, now I gotta take some of this brighter green color because it's not matched perfectly and I'm gonna bring it down into the project. I'm gonna even put it like over the red a little bit. It's all gonna look mucked up but I think it looks more natural, like it was meant to be there like that. Okay, so see what I did? Just to make it look more natural. I still feel like it needs a little bit of like a tan color. Let me grab, this might be too dark. I'm just gonna grab the tiniest little bit. That's way, way, way too dark. So I'm gonna mix this in with some white. I want like, because there is a little bit of like coffee colored or light tan colored paint in and around on that napkin. So I'm gonna introduce this new color and I'm, you know what, I'm gonna start, kind of make it look like maybe like a, um, what do you call it when you put the dark edges around a photo, a vignette. <laughs> Mayor loves the journal, I'm so glad. I feel like I'm missing so many comments, you guys. Thanks, Pauline. She said it looks good. Yeah, the idea is to try to make it look like one page together. So I'm gonna take this darker color and I'm a little bit afraid that it's just even still too dark. So let me grab a little more white and I'm just, I'm gonna start out up here just so I can see what that color looks like. Now it's too light. So I think I'm gonna try to do like a little bit of a frame. And you see, I don't care if these pages get some paint on them on the bottom. I don't care about these pages because this whole side of the journal has nothing in it. You know when you, you, you edit your photos on your phone, it has that um, option, and is it called vignette? What is it called? Where it puts a little bit of darkness around the whole picture on the outside. That's kind of what I had in mind here. I'm gonna go around the bottom, just add a little bit. Whoa, it looks really um, bold down here because of the red. So there's no like, I'm just willy-nilly doing it. <laughs> it's like nothing perfect here. We're just adding some. I don't wanna cover her hand, so I'm gonna leave her hand alone, but I am gonna come in here and add a little bit in here. And see how I'm just randomly plopping it in there on the edges? 
and see this looks really perfectly green it's too perfect for me so I'm just really lightly I hardly have any of that paint on there but I'm gonna intermix some of that in there so that that green doesn't look so darn perfect up in that corner now it looks like a like it was all meant to be there together. Now, I want to do my martini glass on this side and I would love for these two pages to be coordinated. So, I'm going to repeat what I just did on this side. I don't have to be nearly as careful. I'm going to grab the green paint, I'm going to grab the white paint. And I'm going to mix another bunch of that. And now I'm going to come in and just cover this page. Uh-oh. I don't want to get any of this on my bottom pages here. So I do need my craft mat here if I want to protect those bottom pages. So I'm just going to pounce on some of that color so that they match. And then I'm going to try. I've never done it. I'm going to try to draw me a martini glass on here. And then when we are done, you guys, I'm going to go have a drink with my hubby at the fish fry. <laughs> it won't be a martini at a fish fry. It'll probably be like a Bud Light or something. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I don't think you're serving martinis at the fish fry. Although that would be my kind of fish fry. I actually, I've only had one or two martinis in my life that I liked. One was a strawberry cheesecake one. And another one was a chocolate one. <laughs> it had chocolate like crumbs all around the edges. The rim, it was so yummy. Um, but I'm not like generally a martini fan. But a martini glass, like I picture her holding a martini glass <laughs> because she looks so glamorous. All right, so I've got that done. Basically, same color, right? We have one big spread here, and now it all matches. Okay, so we have this cute little phrase here. I won't eat food that contains sugar, sodium, meat, dairy, gluten, preservatives, or artificial flavors or colors, but I'll drink anything. And then I thought it would be really funny to put like a martini glass or like something like a wine glass or something obviously an alcoholic beverage on this side. Um, I am going... I. To add a little bit of that brown, I'm going to like that tan, I'm going to pull it in on this page too. Like again, we're going for like a really coordinated look here. So, and I'm just stippling it. There's nothing, it's, you're not painting it on, so you're just getting some color randomly. I do this a lot in my journal when I'm working with napkins to cover those edges that you don't love. So I'm going to come in and just make that, I don't know if vignette's the right word that like frame around this with a little bit of that tan pink color. And I'm making it as I go, like when I run out of it, I make a little more so it's not even all the same exact tan color. <laughs> that This batch looks a little lighter than the first one I made, but it's okay, because it's all hod podge on there. It's like really, really random, but very coordinated now. Okay, let's see. Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Roseanne. Have a drink of me, drink for me and a piece of fish, my sister said. Okay, so see what we got there? That's what we got so far. And then, I don't know, I've never done a martini glass, but we're gonna try it. The pressure of live. Okay, so I'm gonna, I probably will come in with a pencil first and get the lines of the glass drawn. Actually, maybe I should use my Inktense pencils. I've never used them in my journal, or like this journal, I've not used them yet. I have a special art journal just for my Inktense pencils that I've been playing with since I got them. And it, I, you could use acrylic paint, you could use watercolor paints, you could use markers, you could use crayons, you could use colored pencils. It's your journal, you could do whatever you want. And the nice thing about having an art journal is these projects, can just be for your own joy of creating. They don't have to be shown to anybody or seen by anybody. They can simply be for your own enjoyment, right? Um, I'm gonna grab my pencils out. Maybe I'll use these. I've, you use them with water. So here's a couple of notes. They're like a, they're similar to a watercolor pencil, but they are not a watercolor pencil, they are different in that they are, per once they dry, they're permanent. Watercolor pencils are not. They are incredibly intense. The, the inks are the, the color is very intense on these. Um, I think I'm gonna have to coat that with clear gesso before I go in on it. 
to be truthful. I'm going to grab a little bit of clear gesso. Hold on, let me show you. I'm going to put a little bit of that on here. Only because I've never done this before where I've gone in on acrylic paint with these Intense Pencils. These Intense Pencils are new to me, too. I got them a couple of months ago and I've been playing with them. But I've been playing with them all in the same journal. So let's get, this is clear, so I don't mind if a little bit of this gets on the pages below. It's a clear gesso, so it's priming this page that I just put acrylic paint all over it. It's not gonna change my color, but it's priming that page so that I can come in with my pencil. I should be able to come in with my pencil and use them with water to make that color move. I don't know though, we'll find out here in a minute. Oh, I got like gesso boogers all over it those dried crusties that come from the, the lid of your jar. All right, we gotta dry this and then I'm gonna try my intense pencils on this page. It could be a disaster, I have no idea. Gesso is a primer for your, they use it on canvases, but you can use it on anything. Let me close this. It comes in, you can get it in colors. I, I've really only ever seen it black, white. No, I, that's not true, I've seen it in pink the black, white, and clear, but you can color it by adding acrylic paints to it. You can color it if you wanted to, but what it does is it preps your surface for the next layer, and for me, my next layer is gonna be my Inktense pencils, and because I have to use a watercolor brush with the pencil to activate it, I wanna make sure that I'm not moving that acrylic paint that's underneath it. I don't want that to move around or get reactivated or mix in with the colors of my pencils. So the clear gesso is like a protective barrier between the two, okay? It's just like a, and you can buy whatever, these are just the brands that I have on hand, but you, this I got from Hobby Lobby. You can just buy them, whatever brand is available close to you. Yes, Diane. Are you asking if gesso is, is good for using Bible-link journaling or the pencils? Okay, I'm gonna make a martini glass, I think. So I have, there's one pencil, it's called an outliner that comes in the big set and I'm gonna use that. Uh, you know what, I'm not, I'm gonna use an erasable pencil. I'm too nervous because I've never drawn a martini glass, but I'm a little worried about scale. So I'm actually gonna start with the top of the glass because aren't they like a V shape? I'm going to start with the top of the glass. So the, here's would be the center. Low power. Hold on, girls. I got a low power message on my phone, which means I better plug you in so I don't lose you. Because you'll be so mad if you don't see the end of this project, I bet. Hold on, girls. Sorry about that. My poor phone. I've used it so much today. There we go. Now, hopefully, hopefully, just hang tight. I'm going to check something quick. Make sure I got juice there. Okay. Top of the martini glass is done. I'm just using my pencil so I have an idea of where this would go. It's going to be a little martini glass, apparently. I don't care if this is super straight. I'm going to come in like this. And then the bottom, like scale-wise, I'm not very good. I'm going to make that a little thicker. I'll do it with my... How does this go now? Like, it's going to sit flat. Probably be about that wide. Maybe a little wider. I have to turn it back so I can see like upside down. And then wouldn't it like go around like this? I've never done this before. I should have done a little research beforehand. It's my journal, so it doesn't matter. And because I have gesso, I should be able to erase a regular pencil. And yes, I can. Okay, so this is okay. Cause I'm gonna do like gray over the edges with this and then, or black. I could do black with my actual, that was just a regular number two pencil so that I could get the outline. I'm kind of happy with that because I've never done it before. Now this is charcoal gray in the ink tense pencil. And I'm gonna come in and follow the lines for my sketch. And I'll fill that all in in a minute. I'm gonna color that in a little bit. I, I kind of feel like this needs to go up a little higher. And then here, this, I'm gonna color this like a really Maybe I'll do red. Since she's wearing red, I have cherry red. Oh, this one's called Shiraz. I want it to be really bright though. Let's try this red. And I'm gonna create the drink in here with a red. Like she's got like half of a red 
maybe it's a cosmopolitan aren't those pink so this is a red pencil and I'm gonna come in and I'm very lightly gonna add some color in here and then I'm gonna use my water pen my water brush to activate that color to color it in and I can come back and add more color that's no problem so right now because it's a pencil I just added the color in there when I come in with my water you can just use a regular paintbrush with water on it but I use these just you can squeeze the water out of the barrel as you need more of it but when I come in oh, it's not wet yet I squeeze and then the water comes down into the bristles if you squeeze hard enough Grace come on Gracie grew there we go now it'll activate that red so that I can move it around and now the difference between these ink tents and watercolor pencils is that this once it dries it will stay permanent so you can layer which I love all right I have to put it down so that I can get straight lines here not that my lines have to be perfect but I think this is super fun I want more color I want that to be really bright red so I'm just going to pick up some more color with my and then I'm going to let that dry so I can even bring another layer of that color on there so I'm going to let that dry I'm going to activate look what happens when I activate the charcoal gray when I wet it look at how dark it gets and then this is gonna go crazy right here because there's lots of it. Now I wanna get the gray off there. I did not, I did not outline, I don't think, these lines with the charcoal gray. I probably should so that they match. And now my red is wet. I was so excited to get the red on there. I better dry it a little bit. I have more fun playing with these pencils. There's a bunch of water on there, so much so that it's kind of pooling, like it's like in a little drip. So I'm gonna take one of these rags and just pick up some of that water so it dries faster. But these are really, really, really fun to play with. Super fun to play with. Because you can layer and layer and layer. Okay, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna mark up the outside edge with my charcoal gray so I can I want this to be more bold these edges so I'm gonna come in with this and see what it does it almost like it makes it come to life and then I love the watercolor effect I love the water moving that color so it's not perfect okay let's get some more red in this section here so she has a red martini glass here. Oh, look at how deep that's going to be. I want it to be really bold, you guys. I want it to be very bold. I'm just going to move it around. You guys, you're seeing, this is my art journal. It's where I play at night when it's late at night and I want to do something, but I don't know what. Um, I just want to create. I don't necessarily need to make a sign to hang on the wall or anything like that. I just want to create. And so I have these books that I work in when I just want to create something, but I don't know what. I just want to play with my supplies and have some fun. So I have these variety. I have a few different journals that I pull and I play with. And this one happens to have a lot of napkins in it because I love to work with napkins. But I love to play with all my supplies and I love to discover and explore and I love to teach other people. That's why I have the membership groups so I can teach you guys these same things and help you to like expand your knowledge of what's out there and what's possible so that you can have that same playtime. Look at how cute that is. What do you think? For someone who's never done a martini glass, what do we think? All right, so this is what we got. Ah! Cute, and I feel like I wanna do something else on here. So hold on. A um, couple of things. First thing is I always come in and put the date on my pages just because I like to. I think this is, I think this is 12th, but it's the 21st. So, yep, the 21st. So I do put the date somewhere and I usually put it in the outside edge of my page. And then I'm going to do some doodling with that chart with the pencil. And you know what? I'm going to doodle in that red because it's pretty. So let's doodle in some red. I'm going to add some swirlies and maybe I'll add some 
I like the X's too. So let's add some X's. Like maybe she's blowing kisses. We'll do X's and O's. Like she's she's a glamour girl. She's blowing some kisses to her boyfriend or her significant other. So we've got some X's and O's. And then let's do some, maybe just some dashes. We'll do some dashes around the edge just to give it something else to look at so it's not so plain on this page especially and then let's do this this one and I'm using my ink tense pencil because I want it to match you could use a marker if you wanted but I want this all to match so I'm going to activate each one of these little lines so when you see it's like a charcoal pencil almost let me show you real close so I've activated these first four. When I touch this line here, this fifth one with the water, see how it like just makes it more bold and you control how much of that by how much water you use, how much pencil you use. See how it just makes it more bold? You get to control that and I've been having so much fun playing with these pencils. Just discovering and playing with these pencils. Like look at how vibrant that is. It, it shows up so much better. I'm just going in and touching it with a little bit of water. I haven't even squeezed any more water out yet. I really like the way that turned out, actually. Um, let me do some more of those. Somebody said I'm freezing. Oh, no. I hope not. Hello from the UK, Miss Nikki Palmer. Welcome back. I showed everybody my stash, my haul that I got from the stores. And then I was feeling the need to do a little creating. I'm going right over my napkin here, all the way down. I'm not going to do the middle with the binding, but I'm doing the edges and I'm going right over the napkin. And I did not gesso this side, you guys. So this is actually a really good test for does it work? Yeah, it works over here. It's doing just fine. I might need, this page is curled right here, but I might need a couple more around my date. Oh, I love it. I'm loving, loving, loving it. Just so simple, so easy, so fun. I haven't done anything with my X's and O's yet. Let's activate them. Let's liven them up, make them really come out. <laughs> so cute. Oh, you guys. See, it's so fun. Just this is, it's like an art journal where you express yourself in a journal. And this was just like, I need some stress relief. And I love those napkins that, this bundle is sold out on my website, thecomfinesswithgrace.com, but I have other napkin bundles available, but this one has sold out. Um, but I love them. They're like 1950s, 60s glamour girls, and they have all these snarky, funny comments. Um, now my pages have curled, yes, because we've been adding water and wet things to them. And it's just a regular Reader's Digest page. But when I close the book and I store it, it all of these pages were curled at one point, but they're not anymore. Um, when I close the book and store it, they'll all straighten out. So there's my journal page for the day. I'd love to know what you think. I would love to know what you think of it. I would love to know. So let me know in the comments. If you're catching the replay, don't forget to comment because I do um, give out or add more names to the prize basket from the replay watchers. So make sure that you say hello. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I need more around the the martini glass. Would you add more or just leave her be? Hmm. I kind of feel like I need more activity around that glass. I do feel like I need a little more color, more red. So once these pencils dry, I can come back in and add more color. Watercolor pencils, when you add more water, you're just going to be reactivating what's already there and moving it around. But with these pencils, you're adding another layer. So they are different than watercolor pencils. They're similar, but they are different. Ooh, now I have that really intense red. She's drinking a fruity drink and she's loving it. Now it's really intense red. All right, let me see comments. I see some hearts. Oh, a lime. That's a good idea, Mary. <laughs> Mary Grace. An olive, Verdana says. An olive or two. Yeah, you could add whatever you wanted. I actually was, in my mind, I was thinking more swirlies. There is a white pencil, but I don't know how well it will show up on here. Like if I did more markings, um, 
So let's just see. No, it doesn't really show up. No, it, it shows, but because the color is so, so um, mild on here, it's not showing up real great. So let's see if I do that, and then let's see if I activate it, if it really does. It doesn't really show up. No. I did a little swirly here just to test that white on there, and it doesn't really show up. So that's okay. I'm loving it. I just think it's a really sweet, easy, quick project. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, a kiss with some lips. That's a really cute idea. Or how about her lipstick? Maybe a little lipstick um, or lip gloss hanging out by the martini glass. Hey, Deborah. Yes, I'm still on, Shona. I'm just finishing up, though. So you guys, make sure you say hello in the comments. Thank you for being here. Hit that share button. It always helps us um, small creative business owners to meet new people. Have a beautiful, blessed weekend. I hope it's relaxing and fun and um, many blessings to each one of you. I'll catch you next time. Bye.